My name is Jacqueline Davies and I'm the author of the Lemonade War series. In the new book, The Candy Smash, that's a book about love. Um, all kinds of love. Not just love between a boy and a girl, but love between a grandmother and her grandchild, between a person and their pet, between uh, a boy and poetry. Because in The Candy Smash, Evan finds out that he loves poetry. And the way he comes to that is because his teacher introduces him to a way of writing poetry that he's never tried before. Evan decides he wants to go home and try at home what he was, what Mrs. Overton was teaching him in the classroom. But he's stuck because it's hard to start a poem. So he takes out six post-it notes and he writes down six different words about his grandmother. And then he starts to group them using some alliteration, using some slant rhyme, and he adds a few more, adds a few more post-it notes, and starts to move them around. And by the end of the scene, he's written really a lovely poem about his grandmother, about what she means to him. For the last 10 years, I've been teaching a poetry writing residence that is the same technique that's used now in the Candy Smash that Mrs. Overton is using to teach her class of fourth graders about poetry. It's a five-day writing residency and we start out on day one by going out into the field, out into nature, out into the playground or whatever outdoor space there is and the students uh, draw pictures. They spend the whole day drawing pictures for what they see in nature. And the whole point of it is for them to really slow down. To not draw what they think a tree looks like, but to draw what a tree actually looks like. And on our nature journals, we also start to gather some words. And on day three, that's when we start to transfer the words onto sticky notes, little, little sticky notes. Um, one word on each sticky note. From there, the students move the sticky notes around. They start to group them in ways according to certain tools that I've given them. They start to play with the words. They move those post-it notes around, grouping words by alliteration or by assonance or by rhyme. And when they find combinations that they like, they jot those down on a piece of paper. So now they're starting to play with words the way poets play with words, listening to the sound of them, not just the meaning of them, but really listening to the sound that's created in their ears. And then on day four, we actually start to write the poems using the post-it notes on the desk. I don't have them write the words on a piece of paper. Mechanically, it's a difficult thing to revise, but with the post-it notes, it's effortless. They just pick those post-it notes up and start moving them around. And it's so easy for the students to try different combinations of words and oftentimes really interesting combinations end up happening. They come up with amazing poems because of this looseness and fluidity of moving the post-it notes around. So then the student co copies it over on a piece of paper. And on the last day, we combine the drawings that they started with and their finished poems, and they end up with, um, with a beautiful presentation of their words and their image um, that really, it's a really satisfying experience for them. 